Today's topic is about a tool that can create cinematic AI videos in both realistic and animation styles. I'm excited because it can also create consistent character videos. So let's jump right in. The tool I'm talking about is Vidu AI, and it can generate a four second video in just 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and click on Create Video, and you will be taken to this dashboard. On the left panel, you can drag an image to create a video based on the reference image. But if you are generating a video from a prompt, you can choose a style from either general or animation. Then select a video length of either 4 or 8 seconds. With Vidu, you get 80 free credits each month. Creating a 4 second video uses 4 credits, while an 8 second video uses 8 credits. It's not much, but you are also not restricted to one email. So, let's create a video. I will begin by hitting the Inspire Me button to generate a random prompt. There's also an Enhance Prompt button that can give the prompt a boost, but it might make it a bit too fancy. So, let's just click Create and see what happens. Here's what I will do next. I will start by testing the same prompt with the Enhance option turned off. After that, I will select the animation style and run the prompt again first with Enhance option enabled, and then with it disabled. Once the video is generated, you will see two options. You can click the re-edit button to try the prompt again, and the second option is to upscale your videos, but I will come to that in a moment. Before that, let's check out the results. The video perfectly matched the prompt, but the quality is very low. I will upscale the video in a moment, but first let's check out the other results. Here's the same prompt in general style with the enhanced option disabled. Despite that, the results are quite commendable. Next is the same prompt in animation style with the enhance option enabled, and the animations maintain a good prompt adherence. Finally, here's the version without the enhance option. So it seems the videos perform better with the enhance option enabled. To upscale a clip, I will click the upscale button. This will bring up two options on the left panel stable and creative, although the creative option is still in development. Let's go ahead and click upscale with the stable option. And here's the result. The results are okay, but text to video does not give us exceptional results. Let's take a closer look at how well the image to video feature works. To do this, we will need an image. I have a few different images I want to test. So let's start by uploading this one. Once the upload is complete, you will see two options, use as first frame and use for character reference. Use as first frame means the animation will start with your character and the environment, exactly as they appear in the image. On the other hand, use for character reference is for creating consistent character videos. Next, write a motion prompt to animate your image. I will use this simple prompt. But if you want to learn more about writing motion prompts, check out this video. I will also leave the link in the description. Finally, click Create, and here's the result. And here are a few other images I animated, and you will find the prompts I used listed below each video. The results I got from the image to video feature turn out really well. However, you will have to upscale them and possibly generate the video two or three times to get the best output. The process is quite fast, although occasionally, you might see a server busy message. And the consistent character option is quite a hassle. You have to try it at least 10 times just to get it to match the character you uploaded.